Hello, my name is Abe. Welcome back to Darkest Dungeon. Don't need those trinkets. And, you know, probably at some point we should upgrade the stagecoach. Reduce trinket cost, get better trinkets, but... I mean, what else are we saving the crests for? I don't know. Better stress relief and cheaper stress relief in the Abbey probably at some point, which we should think about doing. But we're gonna do a medium veteran or sorry, a long veteran mission in the Warrens for money loot and for upgrading. We need to upgrade these units. We have a flagellant up front with the bleed resist handkerchief so that they can freely use reclaim and a better healing skill trinket. And I wanna see if this actually makes reclaim better. Now, reclaim is 120, 130, 140, 150, 160% chance of bleeding, meaning it's a 150% chance of bleeding at level four, meaning we should never bleed ourselves with the handkerchief. Although in fact, I'm thinking, no, we, we can bleed ourselves because he has that negative 25% town debuff, but he's probably not gonna bleed himself. He has like a 20% chance of bleeding himself, you know? Well, it's close enough. He's, he's close to not bleeding himself. If we, you know, actually, um, do this mission, recover that 25%, then he should not ever bleed himself. At least until he gets to uh, higher levels and stuff like that. But anyways, uh, we have a Highwayman, who's got dodge, speed, and crit damage melee. Musketeer, who's just good at musketeering, and an Antiquarian. And we're gonna go out on this mission. Provision. We need money, but we also need to not die. Uh, I will bring, you know, plenty of loot articles here. Plenty of shovels as well. And we also do need a couple of units of blood. I will bring two. And here's the strategy. We're gonna do the mission. We're gonna backtrack, pick up all the loot, and then we're gonna leave. So the first thing we're gonna focus on is combat, and then we're gonna pick up all the loot afterwards. Now does everyone have the right skills? Aim shot and smoke screen is the most important one on the musketeer. A good bandage for if we can't do it with the flagellant. A heal and a dodge buff with the antiquarian. A nervous stab which you can hit from anywhere. And the highwayman. Who's gonna probably open up with a duelist advance or a pistol shot. His other abilities don't really matter that much, but honestly, what would I want? Wicked slice, pistol shot. Point blank shot, duelist advance. We don't really need tracking shot. This isn't a boss fight, we're probably not gonna ever use it. This is good. Let's do it. That one man at arms that is called the ass importer seems like a good unit, says the assistance importer. <laughs> it will possibly happen at one point. You know, this is just a squad that can handle the Warrens. I know they can handle the Warrens. I do like having Flagellant for the Warrens in the Weld missions now, that I understand. And I need to get him leveled up, because he is my only Highwayman. Has to happen. So I'm gonna go backline. We don't have a stress healer. We have camping, but we don't have a stress healer, so I think we should go for him first. And of course they're gonna vomit, vomit on the Flagellant. <laughs> I could also use that Flagellant ability that's like, yeah, endure. Stress minus on someone else, stress plus on him. If you level it up, it actually does make sense. As the fiend falls, right now, it's a net gain of zero. But when you level it up, you reduce more stress on someone else and you gain more stress or less stress on yourself. Wait, you, you reduce more stress on the other person and you gain less stress on yourself. Correction. So theoretically, it gets better and better as time goes on, which is nice. Does it mean anything if a cork is flashing? It means it's new. I think it means that it's new. Music sounds a little bit loud. Has it always been this loud? It seems kind of loud. Hold on. Give some music volume just a tiny, tiny bit. Uh, but yeah, sometimes the, uh, the quirks will flash. I think that just means that it's relatively new. Like, they're technically flashing on the Highwayman because I think he is new and we just haven't checked him before, really. Everyone else on this mission is, is old. We've seen him before. Okay. 
Smack him. Should have probably honestly gone for the kill on this cultist with the antiquarian a while back. But it doesn't matter. Because we got him. And you know what? I'm going to try to, since this guy is actually dead, I'm going to try to do a heal. And I want to see if we get the benefit of the Junia's head with this. So it should heal for three. It's actually healing for three. So it gets no benefit from Junia's head. Which is unfortunate. I kind of really hope that it would. Uh, drop the gold, take the antique. Yeah, it gets no benefit. That's kind of unfortunate, actually. It's like a damage upgrade, I think. Damage until camp. That's acceptable. Could fight more enemies. Which we don't need to do. We don't need to interact with these types of curios until we, we camp. Get more combat out of the way. <laughs> Ooh, moonshine. <laughs> could force the go the uh, dodge, could go for a heal. That's gonna use the dodge. We can force dodge with protect me. It'll protect for one turn. Yeah, I wish that the um, Junia's head did work here. I guess there's no reason to have this. I, I guess there is a reason to have this. Exsanguinate and redeem will be better, but reclaim will not be better. Good to know. Uh, you already moved. I'm going to do a duelist advance in that case. A singular strike. Ah, yes, my favorite game's Nuclear Throne Gin. <laughs> uh, the darkest, uh, darkest throne. Do I only play games that end in Ungin? The Ungins are the funnest of games. Exposed to a killing blow. If the um, Flagellant took a little bit more damage, he could toss out a Redeem heal. So I could do like a Reclaim right now. Which I think I'm gonna do. And honestly, I kind of want him to bleed. He only has like a 20% chance of bleeding. Have I played Baba is You, Jin? No, I have not played Baba is You yet. Well struck. I don't know if people would be interested in seeing that, because so I, personally, I think I'm pretty good at puzzle games. How so I kind of think it would be me just like solving puzzles and then getting stuck on the really hard ones. <laughs> Which, I mean, if people are interested in, in that, I can find a way to pick up the game. And then we could, we could play some Baba is You. But it's, it, it, is a, it is a fun game, admittedly. I have been watching it, and um, it's a very interesting take on puzzle games, and I, I think it's, it's a lot of fun. He's gonna toss out a restoration, I guess. Until he bleeds himself or takes more damage, that's a pretty decent heal. You don't like watching puzzle games. That's fair enough, you know? That's the thing. It, it is a very particular type of game. I think that's worth it. Reduces accuracy, we have high dodge. Yeah, uh, you know, reduces accuracy, we have high dodge, that means we get hit for like 30. <laughs> that's exactly what I wanted. Well, we're gonna have to spend a couple of turns healing now. I guess we can toss out heals with the Antiquarian and the Flagellant. He's resisting the bleed, which is nice. And dude, bubbling. Ribbit the Highwayman? <laughs> Horrible name, but fantastic with those crits. The bigger the beast. I kind of wish he w actually wouldn't push him back with the point blank shot because it meant that we got hit by the, uh, the attack a couple of times. The way is lit. The path is clear. We require only the strength to follow it. Oh. I'm also tempted to do a quick rest because we actually could use inventory space and we could also use some healing but I'm gonna keep pushing forward because we have no stress I want to use camping for stress relief so we could focus on the damage dealers first maybe not we should still probably kill her if we can 
Okay, dodge up. We can redeem now. I guess this is a good reason why we shouldn't camp, because that's going to heal for a lot. Yeah. That's a pretty good heal. I have a big chance of finding food. Not as much as I would like. Decimated. Decimated. Plus dodge and damage versus marked for two rounds. Wait, you get that buff for two rounds? It's crazy. Annihilated. You know, it's not a guarantee that we're gonna find food. And besides, I honestly want those curios to remain because we are going to be doing a lot of backtracking eventually. We're going to be doing backtracking in order to pick up the loot, so we definitely want to have those curios available for us later. Oh my god. Okay, uh, I mean, we gotta dump something. We're not getting blighted. We can dump the anti venom. We can take the rare antique, and I would like to take the sapphire as well. So you know what? Dump. Don't want to dump the torches. We could dump the shovels, but you know what? We will uh, <laughs> dump the holy waters. I want to stack up the gems early. Because if I stack up the gems early, then we can hopefully get a whole bunch of them. This isn't Crimson Court. Yeah, it's not. But we, we set up this mission previously. We're going to do it now. We'll do the... And I still have people in stress relief out of from the uh, last Crimson Court DLC mission, so it's going to take a while to get them sorted. The word welcome. Hey, you know what? That's okay. Take your time. I'm just glad that you're here. Minus dodge. Well, let's up dodge. Try to go for one of the stress dealers, and that's a nice crit. And again, you know what? She gets that plus dodge buff from critting. So, that seems pretty good. Someone told the streamer to burn books. He never got a sanity back. Burning Doesn't burning books give you like 100 stress? I remember in my first YouTube campaign of Darkest Dungeon, the one that never finished, uh, I used a shovel on a Boz Relief relic in the cove. And unknown to me, that gave you 100 stress immediately. So it was like the second mission, and I had two units that were afflicted at the beginning of the mission because I also talked to the ghost in the tutorial mission. So it didn't go well, but I think we made it work. From what I remember, anyways. Uh, well, it's basically blind fire. But with a, a different name. A brilliant confluence. I don't think we need to up dodge. I would like to toss out a couple of heals. It's a heal for nine. And it bled himself, which is not great, but you know, he'll bleed and then he can use redeem at some point. Can I get one more turn of heal? Like the flagellant to go, please. It's a good crit heal. I always forget that that you can crit heal with the uh, the reclaim ability, which makes it kind of nice. Right, it's gonna kill you. Makes it kind of nice because you can get a lot of stress relief from using that ability. A trifling victory, but a victory nonetheless. nonetheless. So there's a wall. We have shovels. We might as well go that path. And. Uh, just gonna use the holy water, I guess. Hold on, positions, positions, people, thank you.
It's explore all the room, or 90% of the room, so I am going to do this. Such blockages are unsurprising. These tunnels predate even the earliest settlers. So we have used one blood. I brought two because I figure we would probably need to. Wow, two shovels. I mean, I'll use them. Does anyone not have a lot of positive quirks? You don't have a lot. You know what? Go for it, friend. All right. Bloodsuckers. Hmm. Probably just raise dodge. We don't need to heal. A little bit of extra damage is probably not going to matter too much because I oh, doubt that she's going to, you know, really help us to get a kill. A <laughs> Although, <laughs> that would have been a kill right there if we had done it. Hopefully we don't get the Crimson Curse. We do admittedly have a lot of people with the Crimson Curse right now, but it shouldn't matter too much because we should be pretty close to complete, being able to complete, I will say, the Crimson Core mission. We just need to go back and do it a couple of times. And then once, once I have like a proper full level six squad instead of a half six, half level five squad, maybe we'll be able to make it work and not get someone killed, <laughs> which would be nice. As victories mount, so too will resistance. Probably just gonna drop the blood. I know we're not taking... Ooh, crit scouting. We're not taking a lot of the loot, but I think we're actually gonna camp in the next room. We need to free up inventory space so we can start taking gold. This seems like a, a pretty decent room to do it in. Although we could actually like, another crit scout roll. We could just like explore rooms. Like go down the hallway, go down the hallway, go down the hallway. Using the, the low light that we have, but I'm just gonna camp, I think. Where to camp? A spark without kindling is a goal without hope. We have kindling, we just used it. Do we not have prevent nighttime ambush? Oh no, I didn't, I didn't equip it. I unlocked it, but I didn't equip it. Okay, well we're gonna have to do that after this camp. So we might get surprised, but hopefully we don't. Buff yourself. Buff yourself. You don't even have the, the plus speed buff, do you? No, marching plan. Shouldn't matter too much, it's just something that I should have been aware of. We will be okay. Plus speed for four battles. We're already pretty fast. Would probably like these medicinal herbs on her, but I don't think it's gonna matter too much. Uh, what we need is just some... I don't know, random supply item. There you go. Why not? The light. There we go. The promise now, of safety. Get rid of pep talk. Put on bandit sense, please. We got lucky that we didn't get ambushed, but there was no reason to even have that chance. We definitely screwed up there. <laughs> Packs laden with loot. Are often, often low on supplies. supplies. Why am I not using torches? Because we were gonna camp. No reason to pop a torch when we're gonna camp in two seconds. Am I human or me merely a vessel for the blood? Thanks, we just camped. And you are immediately stressing people out. You gotta name the word, I forget who it was. Web. Good dodge. I'm gonna believe that that is the, uh, the dodge buff working out in our favor. Quakes. Gotta be careful with the spiders though. The orange ones will mark you, and then the green ones will absolutely wreck your day. There we go. 
We had the antiquarian yell at us. And we're just trying to recover stress from that. <laughs> Onyx and gold. Okay, I tell you what. We don't need two food. We're going to take the Onyx and hopefully try to stack it up. Again, money run, hopefully. And we're going to use these torches pretty soon. This is going to be a... I'm not a long mission, but we have a lot to do on this mission. A lot of curios to go to, a lot of things that we want to use our... Devastating nice crit. Um, consumables on provisions, that's the word I'm thinking of. Dude, the crits. <laughs> Need to take this musketeer out more often. Death by inches. That's a good turn. Can't complain about that one at all. You just got a KO, Antiquarian. I'm, I'm, I'm counting that one on you. Okay, 1,500 gold. I think Success now we're going to start worrying about stacking the gold. Um, or is it merely a trick of the light? Yeah, we'll pop one torch to get up the full, the dump three purchase, torches, and then move on. We can camp at low light to get some free light level back, so we don't need to worry about it too much. I think. And we also have 16 more torches, but I need to get some money at some point. Fredaculus says, please no. At this point, there's a pretty high mortality rate. <laughs> You're going out on a mission at some point. Ambushed by foul invention. <laughs> you thought you were going to survive the entire campaign? Oh, you naive individual. Kind of wish we had scouting so we can see these frickin' traps. Uh, I'm also tempted to just do this for for loot, but I also really hate fighting these enemies, but we're going to do it anyways. One gatekeeper, one manservant. We can get one gatekeeper, one manservant. Just don't become afflicted by the Crimson Curse, please. Enraging Slight. No! You stressed her out. Thank you. I need you to be in the back so you can actually... No! Thank you. I need you guys to be in the back so we can get some, some you know, high damage dealt here. I'm going to trust the marksman to get the KO. We're going to go for this guy up front. 95% chance to hit. And of course you're going to crit, because why not? I'm not gonna take the invitation though, we have plenty. We have like another five. So I'm just gonna do this for loot, basically. This is all about loot. Loot, loot. Wait, no, he was being guarded by him. Okay, that was correct. Yeah, a little bit of stress, that's annoying, but we handled the fight pretty well. We also got a couple of blood if we needed it, but we don't need it. Push on to the task's end. Oh! I forgot about that. Plus 50% damage and plus 4 speed for 4 rounds. I need to remember that on missions, but should not have used the blood there. I, th I thought I was just going to give her a small buff temporarily, not make her freaking go crazy and stress out. You know what, that's what the stress relief at camping is for. As long as she doesn't go crazy here, of course. You know what, I like the Antiquarian having high speed. Maybe you will reduce the stress intake on other people. Ha ha ha, Antiquarian being helpful, what? I mean, we need to do list advance, but we also want to kill. Actually, do list advance does more damage, anyways. Oh. 
Oh my lord. You just got a kill. That's fantastic. Trot retreat. Good luck! That's basically a wasted turn because you're gonna be moved up to the front in like two seconds. When all these guys just bleed to death. Yep, there they go. <laughs> Sorry, uh, hold on. Great is the weapon that cuts on its own? I think you're forgetting something, game. Should probably at some point throw out a heal on the Highwayman, but I think we got this guy on the run. Now he might try to do like a pig spear. I think he can do that from the front, but maybe that's a move that he can only do from the back. I can't remember. You just recovered 19 stress, you're the best. Activate repost. I'm gonna go for the bleed. If we can get this guy killed on bleed damage, then I can do a I can do a heal on the next turn, which is gonna happen. Never mind. I mean, luckily, you know, we're doing fine, but I kind of did want to... Did kind of want to have, like, one more heal opportunity there. So we have a lot of gemstones. And that's exactly what I want on this mission. A stack of gold. A couple of stacks of food. It's going fine. Uh, we're not going to open the chest, though. Oh, it's a friggin' secret door! Hell yeah! We're not going to open the chest because we are going to do a lot of backtracking. We're going to finish the mission off first. And especially with there being a secret door there, I see no reason not to. This is fantastic. So what we're going to do is go right up or all the way around, come back here, go to the secret room, end the mission. So let's go through these combats first. I'll do it. Okay. What does the front character do? The flagellant? He flagellates. And does a lot of bleed damage. His big thing is bleed. He's also just... He's, he's also just really good. He does good base damage. He can heal on occasion. He really likes getting hurt. <laughs> So, you know, 9 damage plus 15 points in bleed. It's pretty nice. I'm gonna go with the crappy heal. Because why not? I mean, what we could do, honestly... You know, it's still good to have the, um... We should also just use Wicked Slice more, because it gets a damage buff. But we should probably keep the head on the flagellant because we, we learned that we can still use the heal with the head, but you just can't use reclaim with the head. That's fine. Still keeping these bandages. We should probably drop them at some point very soon. We might even want to camp as soon as our buffs wear off and they have worn off, so maybe we want to camp like right now. We're probably pretty close to being done with combat in the mission. We know that there's a couple of rooms left. Here, here, here. But we can probably camp once more and then finish it off. Not quite a KO, but you know what? The Antiquarian can get the job done. Whew. The crit. And honestly, if we leave the mission with a little bit of stress, that's fine. We're probably not going to take these people out on a mission for a while. So honestly, I'm perfectly okay with that. I'm okay with camping. Now we haven't found any curios that give us food, but I would still do a a full camp for stress relief and for a little bit of healing. All right, so there's the heal. She will now no longer bleed to death. And improvement. Maybe that's what we want on the. Uh, on the fight against the Crocodilian is a flagellant to just pop out those restorations every turn. Could that work?
That could probably work. I'd have to think about it. You know what? Heal up. You know what? Heal up. I'm kind of glad that we are resisting, at least. The bleed, that is. And yeah, we should probably camp. Take a basically full stack of gold. Eat food. Have virtually no need for stress, for stress relief, but we will do prevent nighttime ambush, finesse, minus stress, minus stress. The match is easy. Stuck. A blazing star is born. Easy decisions, anyways. And now we're at the point when we should probably start interacting with curios and, you know, removing keys and such. It's a scroll! Hell yeah! Dud hitter. Minus crit if HP is low. That seems pretty bad, honestly. Bloodthirsty thirsty is also bad, but we're gonna do it on the flagellant to remove dud hitter. Negative cork removed. Perfect. It's also why I brought along some holy waters initially, because you can also find that curio that allows you to remove a negative quirk using holy water, but we just dropped them early. Shouldn't have even brought them, because you know, it's, it's gonna be a long mission and we're gonna be dropping a lot of inventory to hold loot anyways. Dude, the crits are fantastic. This expedition at least promises success. You know what? You're correct. It does. Take the gold. Start stacking it even higher. No, we're gonna start skipping these. Hey, bandages! Fantastic. Finding the stuff is only the first test. Now it must be carried home. It's a weird place to find food, but at least we found it. Oh. Interact with these curios. You know what? Nothing there that we want. You never get ambushed going backwards, so I'm just doing this for torchlight levels, honestly. We could go torchless and try to fight a, uh, a shambler in this battle. <laughs> Probably not a smart move, but we could. Right, this is just a garbage curio. I mean, honestly, I'm tempted, but we probably shouldn't. You know what, we picked up a torch. Let's keep walking. Oh, I have him in the wrong spot. I totally had the Highwayman in the wrong position. It hasn't been that much of a problem, but, you know, I need to be careful of that. There we go. Rend. Oh, finally someone's attacking the Flagellant. <laughs> it's perfect. Maybe one day he'll be able to redeem as well. You calm, welcome. How's it going? You know what? I doubt that we're gonna kill with the Antiquarian unless we we crit, and we're probably not even gonna kill with that protection, so go for the dodge. And I feel good about it. Prodigious size alone does not dissuade. I will admit, this this team can get the job done. They're doing a good job and they're doing a lot of damage, which I am very much enjoying. And it looks like we will probably have like the perfect inventory at the end of this because we're gonna drop the key and the food, continue adventuring, when we 
pick up the secret door, and then there's gonna be one more chest that has some random stuff in it, so we can just do the chest and then backtrack. The blood, I must have the blood. Okay, you know what, we'll, we'll find blood for you, don't worry. And if we don't find blood, we're, you know, relatively close to the end of the mission. Maybe we're not backtracking as much as I would have wanted, but we're still gonna be just fine. Maybe we can force a couple of extra combat encounters or something. Or maybe this next curio room is gonna have enough loot that we'll, we'll be happy. So at this point, drop the bandages. We have two torches, which is enough. Ah, this is a not good curio, or at least not a... I mean, I actually don't know what this curio does, to be perfectly honest with you. It's this curio, and it's a curio that's like a totem pole of skulls. I don't know what those ones do. I mean, we're definitely not going to kill these guys on the first turn. But hopefully, we just won't be crit for a million points of damage. And if the flagellant gets moved back, it's actually for the best. Well, not for the best, but it's not that bad. Because the flagellant can always move forward three on his turn, which is really nice that he can do that. These guys are really slow, though. The cousin champion falls. A little bit of damage. If he gets it one more time, he will have a redeem cap opportunity, I should say. Which I like. But we're just gonna keep stacking up that dodge bonus. Kraken Crad, hello. Welcome to the chat. How you doing? Heal me! You can heal yourself, you idiot. I don't want him to crit. Perfect. I mean... Guess you can just dodge buff again. You're not gonna do anything. You're gonna heal. Not quite a full heal, but pretty close. A victory. Perhaps the turning point. A victory. Mm, perhaps. We're almost done. More bandages. You know what? Do it anyways. We don't have bandages. I ran a risk. And it turned out for the better. Profit was made. And so we're almost done. Uh probably just gonna end the mission after we get the secret room, which honestly is fine with me. We have a lot of gold. Yes, I wish we could have stacked up some more gems, but at least we have two sapphires. We did drop a lot of gold during the mission, but that was purely for gems. Probably not super smart, but whatever. 600 gold, you know what, get rid of the torch. May we find victory. Honestly, we might just want to explore a little bit more after this. Can't hold this. You know, get rid of the onyx. Yeah, because we are gonna have one inventory space available. We can hold, we can hold on to the uh, the food, and then keep going. Okay, so get rid of this and this. Get rid of the key. And yeah, let's just keep doing a little bit of backtracking. We'll go to these curios that we kind of missed out or on earlier, and we'll interact with them. See if maybe we can just get like a gold stack that's better than an emerald or a ruby. Maybe get some more antiques. This is a money run. This is the entire point of it. And we have 12 food so we can, you know, survive a starvation until we find more loot. My loot! My loot! And sometimes battles. Bone altar is damage buff. Okay, I will try to remember that. But I never remember that. <laughs> hey, Joni. Welcome. Hey, 
And you know what? Maybe a little bit of stress heals by exploring too. <laughs> the thirst! The thirst! Okay, well, never mind. That kind of, you know, not what I wanted, but I understand you, you do want the blood. That's nothing. That's nothing. Okay. You're dead. Go for the heal. Acceptable. You stress people out and then you give them a little bit of stress relief. You know what? Let's open for another crit heal. <laughs> And honestly, remind yourself that overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. That's like exactly what I wanted. More rare antiques. If we can get into a little bit more combat, stack them up, I'm gonna be happy. If we can do a, a you know the last couple of rooms here. Look at the curios. We don't have a torch, so I can't be tempted by the Shambler's altar, <laughs> which I might not even want to do anyways. Because honestly, I probably freaking die. I don't think this is a necessarily great party composition for it, either. Let's do some backtracking. It's a pretty minor amount of stress, all things considered. No! More things are gonna spawn in the hallway now. Don't want this. What was this curio up here? I forget. Where were these curios? I forget. I mean, as long as we have, you know, not zero torchlight, we're not gonna find the Shambler. Ah, she's wasting away from the blood now. So at this point we should leave because if she's wasting, she could die if she gets the, the next tick of Crimson Curse progression. So we are gonna leave. But we have a lot of loot, a lot of gold, some gems. It's acceptable. It is acceptable. The twisting tunnels seem a little less impossible. 43,000 gold, I love it. Plus another 11,000, plus a Holy Orders, and a full stack of crests. And a full stack of deeds, or two stacks of deeds, rather. Virtue, minus stress, death blow resist, minus resistances, eh. Good if you are high stressed or near death, I guess, unless you're gonna bleed to death. A Couple of people are at level five now. Beast Slayer warns folk Dipsomania. Dip, dipso, dipsomania. A ray of sunlight. All stress activities a really more. Of golden hope. Will not pray or flagellate. In a moment of pain and struggle, has lost faith. Disease cured. Quirk removed. Quirk removed. Perdomania. Control the urges for now. Okay. The Wirt, you are a musketeer. Same class as the, uh, Redacula the musketeer. Also, it's very bright out. <laughs> I'm noticing. The thrill of the hunt. Like, it is the very bright out. They were correct, it is sunlight, or whatever the heck it is. So we have 81,000 gold. Now we need to decide on what mission we're gonna do next. I think, probably, just gonna do a... Crimson Court mission. We might just go back. Although the Ancestor's portrait is interesting as well. Long Warren's mission. Plus 50% XP, probably don't need it. But let's see, if we were gonna go back, what would we take? We would take a Occultist. Oh, you're soft. I would, I would prefer to remove that because we did lose a, another occultist, or we, we lost our last occultist on the Crimson Court mission, and I would like to have him not lose 5% max HP, even though it's only like one or two, it's one HP point. So maybe it's not actually that bad. But if we were gonna do it, I think we would do Jes uh, not Jester. I think we would do a Leper at the front. And we would have Chop, Purge, Revenge, Intimidate for the fight against the Crocodilian. Purge could knock him down, could knock him to the back line. 
Intimidate to reduce the damage output of the crocodile. I don't know for how many turns this lasts is the problem. Uh, and then we would probably do a Houndmaster for damage output and stress healing and guarding. And we probably don't need personal healing. Blackjacking is what we would want. Then an Occultist with basically the same exact loadout we had previously, except we would probably have Demon's Pull. And then a Vestal for healing, because the Vestal is just amazing. And then we would basically just roll the exact same party that we did previously, and then just hope that we don't die to a, you know, many multiple crit shot from a crocodile if there's going to be another crocodile out on this freaking mission. So, this could be what we do. Does Purge destroy the plants? No. You can't even hit the plants. The plants have 200 dodge, 200% protection, 200% move resist, so this would not work. But the thinking is, so I kind of looked up a little bit about the mission. Uh, the, the crocodile does the Apex Predator attack, which is the one that does like 30 damage on a crit, hits three units. It does that one only after it uses Submerge. And it can only use Submerge from the middle position, position two and position three. So the idea is that we have the Occultist. When the Crocodile is in the third position, we will pull the Crocodile to the first position, keep him here, hit him a couple of times, and then knock him back to the fourth position, possibly? Because the, the problem is, there is no ability that from the, the second position of the enemy line will pull an enemy forward. The only way that you can do that is with, like, a shuffle. But a shuffle moves randomly. It's not necessarily a guarantee. So there is no way that we can pull that crocodile into the first position from the second position. But what we can do is we can knock him back to the back line where he's not going to do Apex Predator for 30 damage on a crit. He'll do um, Swarming Corruption, which we can, which is stress, but we have Houndmaster to reduce the stress. So what we're going to do is pull him forward, stun him, knock him back, debuff him, and then hit him with the Houndmaster for the bleed damage whenever we have an opportunity. And, you know, we're still going to be hurting him with all these other abilities. And it's going to be maybe a little bit slower because we're not going to be focusing on chop so much, but it does prevent that apex uh, predator attack. The alternative thing we can do is get a... And I haven't thought about this yet, but we could get a replacement for the leper and bring along a bounty hunter. And then what we could do is we can pull the crocodile to the first position and then in the first position uh, if they move back to the second position to try to do a submerge into an apex predator we punch him which will knock him back to the back line because this is a knockback to attack with uppercut and if we do this then from the fourth position slot in the back the crocodile will not be able to do um, submerge apex predator so it's going to basically be knock him to the front or the back and then when he moves, we pull him to the front or the back, and then that's where he's going to stay. Because everyone can do moves from those positions. You know, we can mark, the dog can land hits from any position, the Vestal can if we need the Vestal to attack, the Occultist can, you know, pull from the third position or stun, and the Bounty Hunter could just use Caltrops or something to increase damage taken. Debuff target. So, you know, we could just use that as our party composition, and it could work. It could work. We'd have to upgrade Caltrops, though. So maybe actually this is what we would prefer to have. It's a little bit less damage output not having the Leper, but I think against the... against the veteran-level version of the Crocodile, the Leper's fine, because with the buffs, with the high damage, you're going to kill that crocodile before he gets out of control. But on the champion crocodile, he just does so much damage that we have to prevent Apex Predator, I think, at all costs. Even if it costs us stress or damage to everyone. Because we can handle damage to everyone. We can we can heal with the Vestal if we give ourselves a couple of turns. But we have to stop Apex Predator because if it crits for 30 damage and someone's bleeding, they're just going to die. So I think that's what we want to do. Anyways, I've been talking for too long. For those of you on YouTube, hey, thank you very much for watching. 
Like the video if you enjoyed it, subscribe for more. Check me out on Twitch for when I go live. Support me on Twitch, Patreon, and Streamlabs. And I hope to see you here again for the next run of... Next mission of Darkest Dungeon.